Welcome back to the Freeform Knits YouTube channel. I'm Hanks, and I'm Rosa Nunn, who shows Freeform Music Craft and Blood to the World of Design. All the places you can find me will be so down below this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me today. So, this video is another design type style with me video. I'm going to be designing a pair of fingerless mitts. I'm designing a pattern um, using a cabled panel in a fingerless mitt design because we are entering the cooler months of the year where I am, and I love having quick mitt patterns to knit up and wear or gift and i'm really excited i really want to do some knitted cables i've been flicking through my pattern book and this is one of my favorite pattern books it is 750 knitting stitches the knit stitch bible um i actually talk about this in a recent review on my channel the cable panel i'm hoping to incorporate in this mitt is this one this is the cable seed stitch panel it's so pretty and it looks so much fun to do and I haven't done a really good knitted cable in a long time and so that's what I want to do. My hope for this pattern is to have two options, a version of doing it just um, a fingerless knit and another where you can do a full mitten if you like. So and I'm going to be making two samples and one of them is going to be um, this blue. I'm going to have the fingerless knit. I'm going to make those and keep those for myself. This is what I'll be doing in the blue and then I'll be doing the full mitt in this ivory colorway. This is that yeah, it's ivory. Um, both of these are I Love This Yarn, which is a 100% so 100% acrylic yarn. Yeah, they come in these um, 199 gram, 355 yard skeins. Uh, this is about half a skein. It's 98 grams. So um, I should be able to get a full pair of fingerless gloves out of this. So I'll be using that. And then for my needles, I'll be using my Picks nickel plated interchangeable needles. My US 9 5 0.5 millimeter needles, my favorite to use for pushed weight yarn. So those are my supplies, that's my plan, and let's get started. but I'm going to rip it out. So as I was looking at the pattern, I realized that um, the pattern is made up of two cables. This is a whole pattern repeat as it is written in the stitch dictionary. And it starts with this big one, a uh, big cable, and then it goes into this little twist. And I want to reverse it. I want the little twist first and then one big panel of this. And then I figure the length of the glove that will be perfect will be, um, it'll be this little twist, this big one, and then this little twist again. And that'll be long enough. So it'll essentially look like this. No, it won't. 
<laughs> it won't, but like, like if this was the start of the glove, it'll go like this, and then there'll be another one of this, and that'll be like the perfect length. So I did the whole repeat just so I could see um, it lay out and, you know, figure out where I need to start the pattern repeat, because if, if I were, since I'm following the um, stitch dictionary, I have to start like in the middle of the repeat so I can get this part first and then go back and do this part. I just have to reverse it. It's fine. I can do it pretty easily, but I just need to see it. And I also think, so how they have the panel, I think I need um, two more stitches of the purl so that it's not jutting up right against that stockinette. I want like one purl bump to keep it separate. So, yeah, that's what I have to do. I have to fix that um, and decide on my thumb placement because I'm going to do a thumb gusset. So, the trick is I have to make a right glove and a left glove, obviously, because of the patterning. So, I guess I'll do it like two stitches on the wrong side or the, the back of the, the palm part of the glove. Like, I'll do two stitches, I guess, here for one glove, and then on the other side, because of my stitch count, um, well, I could change the stitch count, actually, because I did took out the 2x2 two two ribbing, I started and did 1x1 one one instead, so I could add, I'd have to add two more stitches, so that wouldn't work, would it? I could add four more stitches, but that might be too much. Huh. I don't know. Have to think on that but it's it's good so far i this is a lot of progress um but i do have to take it out but it's a lot of design progress this is what happens when you design you end up starting something and then you have to take it out a bunch of times to get it right but it's going good i got this <laughs> happening um and knitting happening um as you saw in a previous clip i did start the second glove and i've actually finished it so i have a pair now well i didn't finish it I haven't done the thumbs yet i always do the thumbs last when i make a pair of gloves just because it's easier <laughs> um as i was making the second glove it did go a little bit slower um than the first one just because i was writing out the pattern row by row 
just so I can make sure because <laughs> um, I just find that easier when I'm- I like making- when I make socks or gloves like this, um, make one, just design it, get it right, and then the second one, I kind of write the instructions, not the full formatting of the pattern, but the instructions while I um, knit it. So um, I just went row by row writing it, and then when I make the mitten version of this, um, I will test that out. So just a way of really making sure that the written instructions are good. I do have to make the charts. Um, I think I've had, I don't know if I've ever made a chart for a cable in my patterns. I know I have, but I don't know if I've ever published one. Um, my charting software is a little weird with that, so I have to figure that out. I got a lot of things to figure out with the I've just only written the one size, so I have to grade it and figure out how I'm going to write for the all the designer stuff. It doesn't really make sense saying it loud, but here, anyway, here are the gloves, <laughs> the mitts, the fingerless version. I love them so much. I do have, I haven't weighed this yet, but I have pretty much um, quite a good amount left, so I'll be comfortable recommending 100 grams for even the biggest size. I think I'm going to have three sizes, a small, this is the medium, and then a large. Though really, I don't know if I, I, th I think that's what I'll, mm, maybe I should only do two sizes, only because the pearl stitches on both sides, it does make it very stretchy, and so like, when I take this off, it's a very skinny glove, um, and really for width-wise, I think like, my two sisters have very small hands, and I could see this fitting them, and then if you really wanted to make it like a child size, you could just like, you know, cut down on the ribbing, or like with the mitts, you can make it smaller. I don't know. Maybe I'll only do two sizes because I'm pretty comfortable with like the stretch on this. I don't know. I shouldn't be filming this when it's so late, um, but I'm really happy with it. I have to. Here's the thing. I'm tempted to just start the other one, the other pair, the mitting, the mitten version, um, and just start that right away, but I really should do the thumbs, because otherwise I'm going to end up with four thumbs to do. And that might be too much for me. Like, I'll be like, I don't want to knit the four thumbs. So I should really power through and do the thumbs. I'm not even going to take that long. I'm not doing full thumbs for this version. I'm just doing... It'll probably take not even 45 minutes for both of these thumbs. So I should really just... Just get it together and do the thumbs before I start the full pair. But yeah, I really love this. I love these gloves. They're going to be so great come winter time. I don't know. I'm just really excited about them. So the plan for tomorrow is to put the thumbs on, even though I really don't want to. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's so stupid. It's going to take not that long for both of them, but I have to force myself to do that. These are my only nines. Um, they're not my only nines. In the long tips, they're my only nines. Um, I could conceivably take... I don't even know if I have my nine DPNs. I think I'm missing them. But I usually just use the magic loop method. So it's not like I can start them and say I'll leave needles free thumbs. It's so stupid. I will be a big girl and just do the thumbs properly and then I will start the other pair so yep Good. I put them on wrong. 
a completed pair of mittens and the fingerless mitts. So we can put them side by side for comparison. Fold that down. They're perfect. I love them so much. This cable was so much fun to do and by the end, after working it four times, I got it memorized. It's so easy, so fast. Though it just took a span of days to make these, um, it, I have to take into consideration I was filming this at the same time. Um, but really, if I just sat down and make them, like, each pair, like, whole pair took a day. It's so quick. I love worsted weight gloves. They're just perfect. So this is the mitt version, the fingerless glove version. I love them so much. It was so much fun to make. Hi, future Hexan here. I am just now editing the um, design with me video and wanted to come on here and close it off with all the details of the release. The official name for the mitt pattern is the Severn Mitts. Um, they have three sizes. I decided on three. Um, it was three is a good number, and they come with the instructions on how to make a closed mitt or fingerless mitt. And the pattern has, the, like I said, the three sizes. It also has a ch cable chart to help chart and run instructions, whichever you prefer. And I'll also be uploading to YouTube a tutorial to help you with the um, maybe unknown little bit of the cable twist, um, and just to give you further instruction. The surface mat pattern is really simple, and um, like I talked about this in the design with me, the cable pattern it just flew off the needles, and it's so easy and really. It, if you make, if you want to make them, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be so great. So the date you are seeing this video is the 19th of October. I'm publishing these seven mitts on the 21st of October. So the day after tomorrow, they are going to be uploaded to Ravelry. If you're on my newsletter, you will get an exclusive coupon code that will give you 30% off the listing price. So if you are not on my newsletter and you are seeing this before the 21st, definitely get on there. Um, it's free to join the newsletter. Um, I don't spam you or anything. I just, you know, send you, you know, coupon codes like this, sometimes free patterns, things that are related to my knitting business. So if you want to get the seven minute pattern when it is released and you're not on my newsletter, definitely do that so that you don't miss out on this exclusive coupon. I'm really excited to share this pattern with you. It's, I, I just keep going on about it. I really love the mitts and I'm not someone who, like, I think mittens are the things I use so often, yet they're the one thing I don't want to make. And yet this pattern is just, it was really fun to make the whole process. And I'm really excited to share it with you all. So October 21st, that's when the pattern is released. If you're not on my newsletter, do that. And be sure to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of the other news surrounding this pattern release. That's the end of this um, Design With Me video. It was so much fun to film. If you enjoyed this style of video, please let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up, just so I know that you like the style of video. I would love to do more video styles like this. They're really fun to do and really fun to edit. I don't know if you noticed when I was unwinding um, the first draft of my pattern, the the blue mitt, um, it just kind of accidentally ended up being perfectly in time with the song that was playing while I was editing, and that was really funny to me, so it's really fun to edit these videos and film them, so if you like this video, be sure to let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today and for spending some time crafting with me. Like I said, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!